Hey there, my name is Morrissey Carr from Fix Templates. And today in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can easily customize the four of our pricing table planables so you can easily adjust them to your needs. Great, let's get started with the first one. So the first pricing that we have is the monthly annual pricing total. This is pretty standard in a lot of tech websites that you like. You have this total between annual and monthly and your intent for the users to choose annual so you can make a bigger sale. So we created this simple clonable so you can just duplicate it, add it to your website and you are done. And we're going to explain how you can easily customize it. So we're going to open the Webflow dashboard and you're going to see something like this after you clone it. And if you scroll a little towards here, you'll see that if we select this section and we open Navigator, you will see that you have these kind of grid three columns two times. So one is for annual and one is for monthly. So right now we're seeing the monthly one, as you can see in here. But if we click on, on, on this one and we click on this little hide icon that sets the element to display none, and then we select the other one and we also click on this little icon, you will see the other one gets activated. So it's just a matter of like customizing both the annual and the monthly to like to your styling, to your colors, to your text, all of that. You can easily switch between one or the other the way I just described it right now. And after that, you are pretty much done. It's just a matter of clicking publish and you'll have your, uh, your pricing with the annual monthly toggle already set up and all ready for your website. Awesome, let's continue with the next one. So let's go into the multi-currency pricing table. This is a great option in case you already operate in multiple countries. Maybe you sell in Europe and you also sell in America or something like that. So you can easily customize your pricing table to have multiple currencies. For example, we have USD here. You can, we can also go ahead and click on Euro and you can see it just change it. In this case, you know, like the pricing is the same. We want to keep it simple. But in your case, you, know, like you can probably make one a little, a little cheaper and one a little more expensive. Or, you know, like It's completely up to you. And you know, like the same as with the previous one, it's just a matter of cloning this. Once you clone it, you go into your Webflow dashboard, you're going to see something like this, and you will see you have the options right in here. You have the, the currency selector, and you have uh, the multiple sections here with the different, uh, like with the different pricing options. So you have one for USD, one for Euro, and the other one. So what you need to do is actually the following. It's pretty simple. You need to open open this, like you can click here, you can click show, and you will see you have the options to open this. And then if, if you select any of these elements, for example, I will select this drop down link for USD, and then you go into interactions, you will see we created an interaction for that particular currency. If you open that, you will see it's a pretty simple interaction. It pretty much shows this table and hides the others, like the other ones that are in here. So in case you want to customize this to have probably like a fourth currency or probably you only need two, it's just a matter of like duplicating it here. Like you can, for example, duplicate one here, just like this, uh, one sec. So you can, yeah, just duplicate one in here. You can add the other, uh, the other interaction. You can clone this table and just like add it to the interaction. So super, super simple. It's already structured in a way that it's pretty easy to use and you like you can customize it to your own, own needs. So you know, like that's uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Now let's go into the next one. Great. So the other pricing is the pricing calculator with kind of the number of users. So this is pretty common in certain services where probably you're charging per user. So like it's probably a hundred dollars per month, but for every user. So if the if the client has five users, it's going to be five hundred. So that's why we created this table for you. By default, you can see like the cost is 99 per month per user. So if we select how many users you have and we type two, it's going to multiply it by two. Like pretty, pretty simple, pretty useful as you can see. And you can just change the number and things like that. At the moment we set up a maximum of 20 because otherwise probably you can write like 999 and the number is going to get super, super long. But you know, like that's kind of the max for the, mo num for the moment. So how do you actually edit this? So this can get a little more tricky. So like feel free to ask any questions here in the comments in case you have one. 
but it's kind of the following. So by default, all of these numbers, the numbers you have in here, you will see these uh, have this little ID here, like pricing number one, then like pricing number two, all of that. So if we open the, the page in here and we go into the settings, you will see that just towards the bottom, right in here, we have some script. First, uh, it creates a variable to like to allocate these numbers like on these different JavaScript variables. And then just a little below, you can see that we have like a pretty basic math operation. So it's like the number, uh, number between one and 20. That's why we set like the 20 max. And then you can mul multiply that number by this amount. So for example, if they add one, this number is going to get multiplied one like times 99. Or like in this case, they add like three, three time, times 199. So it is just a matter of you to customize these numbers to your own uh, pricing numbers. And then you can also adjust this kind of range between one and 20, depending on, on your cost and depending on what you want to show. And with that, you like, it will be super, super simple for, for it to work just the way you are seeing. In case you ever want to add probably another, another column, probably, probably you have four, it is just a matter of selecting this number and in the fourth column, adding pricing number three and just editing this code. So it includes like a, a number, number four, sorry. And then like a number four in here. So you can see it's pretty basic JavaScript and you should be able to edit that just by like seeing this script. So, so yeah, that's it for this table. And let's go into the final one. Great. So the final calculator is the one we're seeing in here. It is called the slider pricing calculator. And the idea is that you can choose the number of users you want. For example, here you can choose between one and 20. And depending on what you choose, it is going to change. So for example, you can see that by default, anything between one and three, you, you have the basic one, but kind of between four and 10, you have the pro and between 10 and, and like 20 or 50, you have the enterprise. So it is super, super easy to use. You can see it's like a pretty good experience for the user. But how do you edit this? This is a little more tricky than the last one, so let me explain. By default, all of these uh, sections, for example, the pricing details, as well as the, as the pricing card, all of these two already have like the class names. So if we go here into the, into the home, and then we go into the edit page settings, you will see that we have a little longer JavaScript. First, uh, we have some CSS, uh, that CSS is used so we can customize this little bar. So if you can change that kind of scrolling bar to some other colors, you can change all of these in here. But then going into the actual JavaScript, sorry, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of CSS in here. You will see that, actually we kept it in here, sorry. <laughs> So first is kind of the range slider script. This kind of the, the basic JavaScript. So you, you can kind of ignore these for the moment. But a little more towards the bottom, we have the, the slider parameters. So in here, you can see that we have like anything below three is going to remove the class active one, active two, active three. And like it will set uh, and also display hidden. So, and then there's like an else if between four and 10, like for the other one, and then like another one between 11 and 50. And it is going to remove and add the classes depending on which one you are choosing. So you can see like all of those classes kind of activate one or, or, or kind of keep it hidden. So all of those classes are already created in Webflow. And the idea is that you can just adjust these numbers to your own parameters. Like you can change those numbers to uh, what you, you prefer. And then you can just select like the, the element in here, go into navigator and you will see that you have already here all the different options that are kind of hidden. So you can set them at, as display block, you can customize them and then you like, you can make it look the way you want and the script is going to do the rest. In case you want to add, for example, a fourth tire or like a fifth tire, it's just a matter of duplicating the classes like rename them, renaming them to kind of that fourth and fifth uh, number. And then it will be just a matter of adding them to the script right into this part where you can have kind of the parameters between, between the numbers. 
So you can just add another another else if with that number and that's pretty much it. So, so yeah, like that's pretty much it for all of our four uh, pricing tables at the moment. You're going to see that with the time we're going to relate, release a few more just so you can have more and more clonables to easily make use of them on your website. And, and yeah, like that is pretty much it. I hope uh, you have a great day. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.